Hello. Hi. How Hi, are you? I'm awesome. I'm so happy to be here. Well, we're happy you are. What's your name? My name's Jane. When I sing, I go by Nightbird. Oh, that's nice. Nightbird? That's right. Uh, did you sing, do you sing for a living? Um, not, not recently. Where are you from? I'm from Zanesville, Ohio. Okay, how old are you? I'm 30. 30 years old, and the dream is to be a singer. What are you gonna be singing for us tonight? I'm singing an original song called It's Okay. It's Okay. Yeah. It is, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What is It's Okay about? Uh, it's Okay is the story of the last year of my life. All right, and who are you here with? I'm here by myself. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Um, I have not been working for quite a few years. I've been dealing with cancer. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Can, can I ask you a question? How are you now? Uh, last time I checked, I had some cancer in my lungs, my spine, and my liver. Wow. So you're not okay? Uh, well, not in every way, no. You got a beautiful smile and a beautiful glow, mm -hmm. and nobody would know. Thank you. It's important that uh, everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that yes. happen to me. Yes. Yes. All right. Sing for us. Good luck. Nightbird. Change my mind. I thought that all my problems they would stay behind. I was a stick of dynamite, and it just was a matter of time, yeah. It's funny because singers come on and, and, I, and I think about authenticity. You know, when you feel it, when it moves you, that felt like the most authentic thing I have heard this season. That was surprising to you. It was powerful, it was heartfelt, and I think you're amazing. You gave me chills. I mean, your voice is so beautiful to listen to. It was beautiful all the way around. Your voice is stunning. Mm -hmm. It is. Absolutely stunning. And I, I totally agree with what Howie said, you know, about authenticity. 
there was something about that song after the way you just almost casually told us what you're going through and, uh, you know. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Um, there are, however, there have been some great singers this year. Um, and I'm not going to give you a yes. I'm going to give you something else. chance of survival, but 2% is not 0%. 2% is something, and I wish people knew how amazing it is. You blew us all away. <laughs> you are the voice we all need to hear this year. That was way more than OK. That was, so that was beautiful. That was beautiful. God, that really got to me. It pushes all the heartstring oh. buttons, right? And yet she's still so strong. Nightbird, and I just got the golden buzzer from Simon Cowell. I moved to California in the summertime. I sang an original song called It's Okay. It is a song that I wrote for myself when I was going through a really, really hard time that this past year. Um, I've been fighting cancer for a long time and it's been really, really tough. And I wrote the song for myself because I needed to be reminded that um, you can be happy and also be going through something really hard at the same time. You don't have to pick one or the other. Oh, day, oh my, now I can't hide. Said I knew myself, but I guess I lied. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you're lost, we're all a little lost, and it's all right. Oh, it's all right. He said he wasn't going to give me a yes. And I'm like, okay, I understand I'm not like the most impressive singer in the whole world, but I, you know, it's whatever. And then I like saw him reach across the table and that moment before he touched the buzzer lasted like 20 minutes. <laughs> I was like, is this really happening? And yeah, it, it did really happen. I'm not going to give you a yes. I'm going to give you something else. If I could say anything to Simon right now, I would say thank you for being so genuine and so kind to me. And I could tell that he, not just from like a TV performance standpoint, really cared, but when he came up and talked to me, it was so genuine and real and kind. And that is so rare, and I love it. Everything about that was really special. Good for you. Good for you. He did whisper something to me that I cannot tell you because it's a secret between Simon and I because we're very, very close now. <laughs> Tonight, we'll find out which seven acts will make it into the semifinals. It was a great show, but there was somebody missing. Nightbird. At the auditions, 
Her original song had an incredible impact around the world. Simon Cowell was so moved, he reached for the golden buzzer. Since then, she's had to drop out of the competition, but she joined us recently to let us know how she's doing. Hello, Nightbird. Welcome. It is so good to see you. <laughs> hey, oh. Terry, it's good to see you. First of all, Nightbird, your golden buzzer performance has now been seen over 200 million times. When you wrote It's OK, did you have any idea it would have that big an impact on the world? There's no way I would have ever imagined that. Um, it's a song I wrote for myself in the middle of the night when I needed those words so bad. And it's, um, it's beautiful to see uh, the world welcome that song into their own dark night. And uh, I, I'm overwhelmed by it. Can I just say something? You know, the entire world is suffering adversity right now. And you are the poster human for courage in the face of adversity for poise, for beauty, and for fight. And that's what we all need to do. Thank you, thank you for touching us with your son, with who you are, how you are. We were amazed by you. Thank you so much. Hello, Jane. Hi. We've spoken a few times, and um, look, um, you know, you made the decision, rightly so, that your health is your priority right now. And I know that the last time we spoke, you, you actually said you feel like you let people down. Well, I just want to say on behalf of all of us, you haven't let anyone down. And even though you haven't competed, you've already won, as Terry said. I mean, your, your clip has had such an impact on so many people and your courage and who you are. And the most important thing is your well-being and your health and your recovery. And on behalf of all of us here, we're sending you our love, our prayers, and we can't wait to see you again soon. And thank you so much for auditioning on the show and for, for singing such a beautiful song. And, you know, it was... <laughs> we love you. I just wanted to say hi, too. And I love you. I, I love all of you right back. And um, I cannot say thank you enough for the opportunity to, to have a moment to share my story and um i think we're witnessing like such a beautiful picture of the human spirit and the triumph of the human spirit and um i think it's restored my faith in humanity a whole lot to see people come together um just over the fact that we all hurt we all suffer and we all have the potential to to overcome and um it's this is i mean the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me in my life Thank you so, so much for being here, Nightbird. You are awesome. We love you. What an inspiration. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> I love you guys, too. Thank you so much. So inspiring. And we send her all the love in the world.